Good morning, everyone. It's Miriam Pinellas with Hasidus' Medicine. Today is the 21st day of the Omer. We are counting up to Shavuos. And today's divine attribute that we are studying and looking to embody is called Machut Shepetiferet. This is the royalty, the majesty within harmony. We've been defining harmony all week as healing, balancing of all the pieces of us. Not perfectionism, but balance of all the different parts of our bodies, our psyches, our souls. Today we're bringing majesty into that. And what does that mean? Well, we started a bit of that in yesterday's video where I talked about why we remember the past and particularly the painful aspects of life. How they're an opportunity, God willing, with, with presence and balance to bring our hearts and compassion into those hard spaces, which is bringing Hashem, which is bringing God into those spaces, because the Lubavitcher Rebbe says, God dwells in the heart. So we started that, and now we're bringing further, we're getting further into the majesty of harmony. What does it mean to bring that into my healing and into my balance and to get present? Well, I think it's about integrating. So once I can look back with compassion, now I need to integrate that piece of myself into my present moment. Perhaps it's a piece of myself I forgot, and maybe for, for good reason. <laughs> maybe it was painful. Maybe it was, too, it was challenging, and I'm happy to be past it and moving on, and that's okay. But I wonder, and I'm learning along with all of you in this journey, is do we, now, do we integrate do we bring all the pieces of ourselves into the present? Um, and not to run or deny, but to, to embrace it all to, and, and make it a part of me now with my compassionate heart and with Hashem. And that brings me closer to, that brings me greater harmony and presence. Um, and greater harmony and presence is when the queen sits on her throne, the king sits on her throne. That's in a physiological perspective when the heart is healthy and directing all the organs to do what they need to do. And the same with us, with our, with our psyches, with ourselves, when we become the rulers of our lives, of our bodies, of what's happening around us. We don't feel um, like victims, but we are, we are asserting um, our will. I think that's majesty and harmony. Um, harmony is tiferet. The Pirkei Avot we read last Shabbos, the first one speaks about Tiferet, where it says, what is, what, what is the path a man should take? And the Pirkei Avot says, that which is beautiful, with that which makes the person beautiful or harmonious, and that which brings Tiferet, harmony or beauty to the world. And I think part of bringing the harmony to ourselves and to the world is this work, this healing work. This is a priority for all of us, no matter what other purpose we have here. Another, another hint to, to the idea of integrating all parts I thought of today perhaps comes from the Ketoret, the incense offering that we read about every um, during our prayers. Um, it involved a lot of sweet smelling and aromatic spices. And there was one called the Chalbana, which was the complete opposite of sweet, but a very harsh smelling ingredient. And it was a vital component to the offering and had to be included. And so this gives a little bit of um, permission or, or, or proof that, that indeed all parts of us need to be included in this life, um, seen, everything needs to be seen, everything needs to be held, even when it's hard to understand. So um, this, so today we're bringing, we're bringing majesty into harmony. We're bringing a sense of royalty. So that's a call to us also. Find what makes you feel royal. Find, because we are, right? The Jewish nation is called the kingdom of princes and princesses, the Torah says. So you are royal. Um, find a way to actualize that. Maybe that's... Um, with the way you choose to dress or the way you choose to treat people or the way um, you set up your room, whatever it is that gives you a sense of royalty, a sense of rulership in your life, embrace that today and know that you're in, the, you're in, community, you're in a community of royalty, that's the truth. And these days of the Omar are a way of tap, getting deeper in touch with that, blessing you with um, 
with a beautiful day. It's Erev Shabbos, another time. Every Shabbos we get to tap into royalty. Every Shabbos we welcome the Shabbos Malka, right? The Shabbos Queen. We sing to her. We welcome her into our lives on Shabbos. Another way of tapping into to, to royalty to, and to the Divine Feminine, which I hope to talk about at another time. Have a beautiful day.